For 2015, the Global Wave comes in a new micro-sized 5.2, a 5.7, a smaller version, a 5.6 for the Alana, a girl's version of the Global, and then a 5.10 and a 6.0. In all of these sizes, it's a committed, strapped or strapless, very durable, full-on performance waveboard that can be ridden strapped or strapless, small wave, big wave, or no wave. Uh, it's a very fast, drivey bottom shape, so single concave. It's got fairly full rails in the front, so not super thinned out, which makes it a little bit twitchy. So it's a really easy off the front foot uh, rail foil, going to an increased tail kick, even more tail rocker, and a more thinned out squared rail than last year's, which gives the board a lot of responsiveness at speed, really snappy off the top. So the drive between front foot and really loose turning off the back foot uh, make the Global even easier to ride than before, yet offers even better high speed performance uh, if you are driving off of real waves. So it's uh, got a really nice smooth outline for riding in chop. You know, a lot of people don't have great waves and the Global is a perfect choice for that for people that want to ride strapped or strapless. And the Customs come as a three fin thruster design making it very forgiving. Uh, very predictable no matter what the conditions, whether you're riding in flat water and just learning strapless tricks or whether you're driving down the line in, uh, in double overhead surf. Uh, they're very accessible, very easy to ride, so these are basically for anybody that wants uh, a directional waveboard, whether strapped or strapless.